If you're watching this and a new Jamar Chase has dropped, please don't crucify me. I needed to record this one today, but we are patiently waiting for Jamar and Nick Bosa to get their prestige upgrade. But welcome back to Wheel of Mutt. It's spooky season. We have everyone's favorite felon, Tebus, goofing around back here with us. And I'm looking to have an awesome bounce back episode. We are four and one. Our first loss came in last episode. I played a stud with mommy's credit card. That was the best team in in the game at every single position. We really didn't stand a chance. So I got to regroup and have an awesome game today. We're an 84 overall. My offensive line is a little suspect. We're rocking no fullback, some okay wide receivers, and then our stud, George Pickens, and our stud, Gronk, and of course, our stud, the captain, Andrew Luck. Defensively, we got Sean Taylor. We got our prestige, Derwin James, the first prestige to pay off. Charles Woodson, Darius Williams, Jeff Okuda, Nick Bosa, Dexter Lawrence, Aiden and Hutchinson. And at linebackers, we got Rashawn Gary, Christian Welch, Okarike, and Daniil Hunter. At this point, boys, I'd take any upgrade we can get. All right, boys, we've got a little redeeming to do. It sucked, dude. Losing a game, and then you gotta post that on the internet to half a million people? That shit sucks! Division's 80 to 87. I can't have back-to-back -back losses and post that to the internet. You know how shitty that would be? Gotta get it up today. AFC West player? Oh, the AFC East. I love the AFC East. All right, we can get any player 80 to 87 from the AFC East. That's the Dolphins. Oh my God, wait, that's the Dolphins. That's Bills, Dolphins, Jets. And what's the other poverty team? I know there's a really no, dog shit team in the AFC East that I can't think of, but I know they suck and they're just poverty. Oh, it's the New England Patriots. How could I forget? The poverty it's the the, the, the the New England poverty it's New England welfare. New England, e e New England food stamp C. It. Now that's a heater of a name right there. Gabe Davis got a most feared 87. I love Gabe Davis. I think he's an awesome wide receiver. 6'2", 220. He's got great stats. And honestly, like you look at that Jamar, that Jamar is so outdated because I haven't got a new Jamar card yet that I'm going to have to rock Gabe Davis here. I truly believe that Jamar is getting a nasty most feared card though. But for right now, Gabe Davis is probably going to get some reps at wide receiver two, boosted to an 88. And Jamar Chase, sadly, is actually getting benched. A prestige is getting benched right now. But dude, Quentin Johnston is taller, faster, jumps higher. I don't even know how both these cards are 85s, to be honest. When I look at that Jamar, he just looks like shit. So Quentin Johnson's coming in. And then, hey, we've also got Stefan Diggs. So we've got two Bills wide receivers now. I actually have a lot of AFC East on this team. I got the Dolphins. I got the Bills. I got the Patriots. I just don't have Jets on this team, I don't think. Maybe I'll get Sauce Gardner in here at some point. Got a little bit of wide receiver help. Low key, that's not really what we needed. But I just wanted to get Gabe Davis. I wanted the most feared card, so... I took the fun pick here. <laughs> this will be controversial. This will be controversial. Fantasy bust jackpot. Any player who is a true fantasy bust this year so far. Honest to God, I think one of the biggest busts this year is probably Josh Jacobs. Najee Harris is another huge bust this year. I could even chalk up Jameer Gibbs into the bust category. T. Higgins has sort of been a bust. He went zero, then a monster game, then four points, then 3.9. He's the number 64 wide receiver. I think I'm going to go. Yeah, see, Kyle Pitts is the 17. Tight end. I don't really know if I can take that. Dude, I think I'm going Kyle Pitts. Here's the tight ends doing better than Kyle Pitts. Tyler Higby, who I took off of the waiver wire. Zach Ertz, Jake Ferguson, Jonu Smith on his own team. On his own team. Dalton Schultz, Logan Thomas, Hunter Henry, and then you get into the top 10. I think with where you take Kyle Pitts, he's just a bust. He's just a bust. He's busting that. If Kyle Pitts had the craziest game last week, I'll shut up. I took Kyle Pitts last year. I regretted it deeply, but here's the thing about Kyle Pitts. He's absolutely insane in Madden. And low-key, I might put him at wide receiver. The 90 overall unstoppables Kyle Pitts. Six foot six, 90 speed, 92 catch. So he is faster than every wide receiver I have. And he's six foot six. I straight up might just put him at wide receiver. We do have one AP open. Used to be on Moster, but I think I'm gonna rock it on Kyle Pitts now. He does have the unstoppable X factors. I'm gonna give him unstoppable route tech. You need three 20 plus yard catches. I feel like if anybody can do it, it's gonna be this guy. I'm gonna give him recuperation just for fun. Getting a little weird here on offense. We got Kyle Pitts at wide receiver and backup tight end. My tight ends are insane. Nobody can take that away from me. Wow, two offensive receiving threat upgrades. Kind of wild. Hopefully, I can upgrade something else here. It's all about the divisions today. Well, if you were said that your division wasn't picked, you still have a chance. We can get your division right now. Is this AFC West? It's it. 
Let's go. I think that's, I'm pretty sure there's a really good Juwan Taylor, which is hilarious because Juwan Taylor is the dude who false starts literally every single play. That was so frustrating to watch. You guys remember the season opener? Chiefs versus Lions. Juwan Taylor literally offsides every play. Or not offsides, false start. You know what I'm talking about. But he got this 88 overall. He looks, um, that's just a goofy looking guy, but that is a really good right tackle. 600,000 coins for limited Juwan Taylor. I can't believe I'm getting this guy. I'm actually a little sad about about it, but that is the AFC West. So Juwan Taylor, welcome to the team. We're going to need you, man. I was getting deleted by Micah Parsons last game. Hey, and you know what? I had Orlando Brown in and now it's Juwan Taylor. That was an all offense episode. Gabe Davis, Kyle Pitts, Juwan Taylor added to the offense. The only thing left is the challenge wheel and to win the game. I came up fully short last episode. No challenge wheel, no win. Got to turn something around here. Our challenge wheel... <laughs> Spread the wealth. Actually, you know what? With the addition of Kyle Pitts, this should be really easy because I can go Kyle Pitts, Gronk, Mostert, Gabe Davis, George Pickens. This should not be too difficult. I need 25 yards or more with five different players. This is all purpose or scrimmage yards. So if Mostert has 12 rushing yards and 13 receiving, that's 25 yards. Yo, we are playing some squads. Holy shit. Josh Allen, John Randall, Miles Garrett. Got a new top three though. Kyle Pitts enters the fray. I love to see that. Opening play is a play action. I'm not ready for it. Josh Allen is. He caught that? I know you want to run it. Play action again. Don't you dare! Back to back! Christian Welch has interceptions on back to back games. I told him not to. And guess what? With Mostert as the starter once again, the game starts out well. I don't think this should surprise anyone. And he just shifted his whole team away from my stretch. And Mostert! is cooking i never should have got bo jackson stupidest thing i ever did little rpo here let's see how this sets up oh pickens hello great block pickens pickens oh. 19 yards george pickens and low-key moster moster might already have the 25 what do we got moster out the backfield juke right nope not there not there second and six no huddle i'm running this football i don't think he's blitzing oh this might be there very well could be yeah, that John Randall's so good. I can't expect that. I can go to the edge, though. Because speed kills. That's an insane block. What? Not in. Dude, Chubba Hubbard just threw a nasty block. He's like a 62 overall at fullback. Probably has no blocking stats. And we still find a way in. Hey. I am so... <laughs> We're doing this again, bro. Bro, you literally have the best team in the game. Hey, a rage quit's a rage quit, baby. I'm going to take my rage quit spin. Game does not count, but whatever I get here, I do get to keep. Oh my God. Oh my God. I was just talking about, bro, I literally was just talking about how Chubba Hubbard is not a fullback, but low key, I was, I was talking about how he threw a good block anyway. What a, this is a weird, weird spin on the rage quit wheel. But I thought to myself, when else am I going to get a fullback? Like, when am I going to really think about it and get a fullback? Uh, I could get a fullback 85 overall to 90. I don't think, a, oh, I almost verbally said, I don't think a 90 overall fullback exists. A 90 overall fullback certainly exists. Holy shit, when did this get in the game? I'll stop the A train. What's his AKA ability? Is it fucking Vanguard? I think I spent 2 million coins in this episode. Holy shit, dude. He would actually make a really good, like, make a really good running back, too. He has Vanguard. Holy fuck. I could have two Vanguards out there. I could have two Vanguards on the fucking field. Are you kidding me? <laughs> I can run high form stretch and all start and grog. We'll have Vanguard at the same time. Are you sucking my dick? Are you licking my balls? <laughs> oh, I can't wait for this next game. Oh my God. I got stuck in the God Squad lobbies recently. Let's go. I'm, I'm literally not even complaining. I want comp. Give it to me. First and 10. He's going to go play action. Oh, I was hoping he'd throw something real stupid. Makes a nice throw right there. He's going to go no huddle. Welchy boy. Get home! The gold D tackle. I got a lot of zone. Oh, right here, right here. You want it. You want it. You dirty dog. Good throw. Normally, that's not a good throw, but if you switch onto the wide receiver and you step in front of the ball, it's a good throw, and that's exactly what he did. So, respect. Nice play. Runs it with Derrick Henry. Gold Tyson Anderson overplayed that just this smidge. 
Ooh, Montana. Went to a load 82 8 in Hutchinson gets home. I'm sending the corner blitz. This is an aggressive corner blitz coming off that side too, but fuck it. We ball. I'm gonna go to 85. He's gonna he's gonna do it. Oh no. Charles Woodson! That's, that's, no way, was that Tyson Anderson? Wait, was that not Charles Woodson? You're fucking lying. No, 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 it was, it was Woodson, it was Woodson. That was 21, right? Fourth and two! He hands off! Derwin! Stop! Let's go! I'm 99% sure that hit was, was Woodson. It was 21, right? The double fucking Vanguard! Let's go, Allstott! Boom! Allstott lays the hammer six yards. Same shit, different day. You thought I was creative? Oh, he fucking ran commit. <laughs> Fourth and seven. I actually think this is doable still. Got him. What a laser! Caught by our brand new Gabe Davis. Is this more man coverage? Ooh. Gotta worry about the wheel. You gotta guard the wheel. Pickens whip route? Ooh, we are making some tough catches right now. That's the first quarter in the books. So just man coverage. I'm hoping he's not ready for Gronks. Oh, I mean, he sort of is ready. Oh, no, I had RB. Mostert underneath. Yes, sir. Misses his first tackle. Makes the next one's fourth and 11. This man coverage is whooping my ass. Found it. I found it. I found it. Let's go. Pickens. Two massive fourth down conversions. He's got to be pissed. Wait a minute. <laughs> you smell that? You smell that? It smells like double Vanguard. Oh no. Where's Mike Allstott's? Allstott's not rocking his Vanguard. Very uncool of him. Let's see if we need it. Allstott lays on it. It's safe block anyway. I mean, he has a 90 overall fullback, right? Mostert walks it in. And we might just have one more. I'm taking this one right up the middle. I'm following the A train! Chugga, 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 chugga! Believe that we will win! Took all that time to throw a pick? Your dog shit. Oh, get a pitch. <gasps> You're gonna quit too. Pussy. Actually, that last guy needs it too. They both, they both need this. Just two bums. Honestly, gentlemen, I'm so sorry. What a bummer. The back-to-back -back rage quit. I gotta end the video. We have officially made the playoffs, which is amazing. I was kind of robbed of my challenge wheel today, so I'm gonna go open a pack anyway. I'm gonna open a mystery pack. This is my one pack for my challenge wheel. This isn't supposed to be allowed, but also we don't get double rage quits in one episode very often. It's gonna be a star elite. If this wants to be a limited, Demarcus Walker, is that an... Technically, he could go at D-tackle. We also get a most feared player. 87 speed, 87 excel, 6 foot 2. Monster. Guard. I don't think I can use him. No, he's not better than Okuda. He might be a better... S oh, you can't sub linebacker corner. Never mind. Never mind. All right, gentlemen. I'm gonna have to call the video here. I'm so sorry, you guys. Hey, next episodes are the playoffs. So we've got the divisional. If we win that, we've got the NFC Championship. If we win that, we got our second Super Bowl. Peter of an episode. Next time I see you, dude, there's gonna be a Jamar upgrade. That's my hope. A Nick Bosa upgrade. And we're in the playoffs. If all that happens... <laughs> All right, boys. Hey, I love you. I'll see you in the next episode. Peace.